I mean, we have a place in, in terms of the world and the SDG goals where we are all asking ourselves questions and how do we accomplish those goals? What do we need to do to get there? And one of the things that we're talking about, even in the last dialogue, we're talking about fostering a lot of relationships and partnerships and we thought it should be the next progression. I mean, just even listening to them today, we already have two organizations that have already said, okay, we need to work together to accomplish more. Um, it's, it's the same dialogue here everywhere. You can go far alone, we can go further together and we're trying to push that conversation and say so we cannot walk alone. We have so many things that we need to solve, so many challenges out there and we need to work together to accomplish those goals. Okay, so not walking alone or not working alone as well is one of the things that the ACT Foundation seems to do rather well. Um, you partnered with 22 uh, grantees, that's what you call the organizations that you work with in 2017, I believe, and yes. you, 20, you partnered with 25 more this year, mm -hmm. and that brings your overall total to 47. Yes. And last year, I recall, you touched, your, you impacted 65,000. Yes. So how are these new partnerships going to spread your reach from 23 states mm -hmm. to all 36, yes. including the FCT? I know, I mean, we're just, we're, we're even asking ourselves, are we running too fast? Um, but we, we know that, I mean, you can't, it's just a lot of things happening. I mean, when you sit down and, and talk about health, um, and you say you want to be focused on this particular health issues, from that particular health issue, so many other things come up, you know? And then we're asking, we need to move more, we need to do more. So we, we believe that with the 47 organizations we're working with now, um, their expands and their reach will even be more, and that enables us to also reach our own goals, enables them to reach their goals. What we've also done with all the grantees, we've asked them who else do they need to work with amongst themselves. Uh, we have a grantee now in Lagos that is doing a cancer screening. We've asked another grantee to work with them um, because there's no point in re reinventing the wheel. If someone already has the screening or, um, 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 tools, use them. So all those things that we're doing, we're just, we just need to push faster. Uh, we need to be able to say that there are more people getting the benefit from what we're doing and one of the things you hear a lot of people say that a lot of organizations that are based in Lagos always do Lagos programs, but that's what we're, we're not. We're not a Lagos or Nigerian-based organization. We're an African organization, and we're trying to push that even for the more this year. And how's that working out? So I mean, spreading? It's, it's spreading. Our spread is, I mean, this year alone, as you, as you mentioned, there have been even more states, uh, more communities, more, more um, beneficiaries. But this year also, we got a lot more applications from Africa. Uh, from the rest of the world. And we hopefully we are intending to go to other African countries next year. Um, it's, this is just our second year. But we're doing it in steady progressions as well. We want to make sure that when we are focusing on these challenges, we're actually seeing the solutions, not just seeing the numbers. We want to be able to see the impact that a lot of these organizations are doing in the communities. And that's what is important to us. So you're a foundation and one of the things that you do is just generally impacting people's lives, changing people's lives yeah. for the better. Your keynote speaker today, your Nsako, that's the executive vice president of Unilever yeah. in Nigeria and Ghana, he said, when you have to shoot, just shoot. Just shoot. Don't talk. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and he's right. You know, sometimes we sit down in this discourse and we have a lot of conversations. But what's the impact? What are we doing? How are we actually, are we actually doing or just saying? So it's one of the things we also talk to our um, um, grantees about. We tell them that impact must be, we, you must see it. Don't tell me you have taught 10,000 lives. How has that changed the lives of the people in their communities? So just do it. And when people come to me, I, I think I want to start a project. I'm not sure. I'm just like, well, what are you waiting for? You don't know what's going to happen. Just, just go ahead. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And if we have these challenges, keep on buttering up. We need to find solutions to all these challenges as well. So speaking of actions, yes. So what outcomes, you know, this is the ACT Foundation. Yes. What <laughs> acts are you expecting to be inspired by this breakfast dialogue that you've had today? We want a lot of partnerships to come about. Um, we talked about fostering ownership, but also for the organizations to take ownerships of the communities they work in. Um, yes, we need to work as a tripod, the government, the public sector and private sector. But we, we need people to take ownership, foster the ownership, foster the partnerships and say, who else can we work with? We cannot work in isolation. I keep on repeating it. We need to work in partnerships to accomplish more goals. And we need to just do it as fast and as quick as we can.